welcome to Watch Mojo Anime. And these are the top 10 sexiest women in anime. Number 10, Ez Death, Akamega Kill. While we're certainly not debating the fact that this servant of the Empire is murderous, batshit insane, and fully capable of annihilating every foe before her, there's no getting around that Ez Death is still drop dead gorgeous. Sitting in that sweet spot between Girl Next Door and Full On Yandere, her obsession with piece of bread protagonist Tatsumi revealed just how alluring she can be when she ditches the swords for an unbuttoned shirt. <laughs> Number 9, Fubuki, One Punch Man. <laughs> From one powerful lady to the next, only this one swaps out the psychopathy for a sassy attitude and sense of authority that is all too captivating. She certainly has her pettiness and a nasty habit of trying to get lower ranked heroes under her control, but that doesn't take away just how much of a bombshell she is. <laughs> Number 8, Shion. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Because everybody knows the best secretaries are the ones who happen to be monster girls and come armed with giant swords. Not only can she decimate a landscape with one swing of her sword, but was shown to be attentive, clumsy, and above all else, loyal to Rimuru's dream of a unified monster nation. <laughs> Number 7, C2, Code Geass. Cursed with immortality, bound to the whims of wicked men, C2 has spent centuries living as a tool for those who use her and the power she possesses for ill intent. <laughs> Very much Zero's most trusted confidant, C2 is reserved, borderline angelic, and something of a Snow White figure who doesn't hesitate to follow Lelouch, even if it's to the furthest fringes of morality. Number 6, Mwah, Mamako. Do you love your mom and her two hit multi target attacks? <laughs> Mamako may be slightly airheaded, but she's also every etchy mama trope come to life, all wrapped up in a delightful package. Following her son into what was supposed to be a virtual reality power fantasy, Mamako unwittingly takes over as the overpowered heroine character, though never fails to flaunt her adorable personality and the occasional bit of fan service for good measure. <laughs> Number 5, Albedo, Overlord. One of the strongest of Ainz's servants, Albedo lives up to her guise as a fallen angel, in that she dispenses death and has an enrapturing visage. <laughs> she's also dangerously in love with her bone daddy, to the extent she's one bad day away from turning into an explosion of edginess that none would survive. <laughs> Number 4, Ryoko, Tenchi Moyo Franchise. <laughs> One of the original tough and tumble tomboys that defined the early days of anime's harem scene, Ryoko is a straight up savage, a former space pirate who ran rampant across the galaxy. At least until she fell in love and decided to try and snatch up Tenchi for herself. If Tenchi doesn't choose her, he's insane. Number 3, Yoko. Gurren Lagan. There are few who can make Otaku's drills pierce the heavens quite like this redhead. A resistance fighter, a teacher, a gunslinging beauty, with something of an aversion to full fitting clothes, and the one who stole the heart of our lord and savior, Kamina. <sighs> Her appeal only matched by how much of a firecracker she is in battle. Just a shame every guy she's ever loved has ended up dead soon after locking lips. Number 2, Satsuki, Kill the Kill. The monumental standout character from Trigger's erotically laced, frantic action fest of an anime, Satsuki is the whole package. <laughs> Undeterred, unflinching, morally ambiguous, and willing to do whatever it takes to see her ambition fulfilled, even if it means taking out her foes with a superpowered robe that leaves very little to the imagination. Not that she cares, because why would she? She's Satsuki. Number 1, Rias Gremory, High School DD. 
Putting the double D in DD, this most lascivious of demons is pretty much the poster girl when it comes to harem leads. While her power of destruction certainly makes her a threat in battle, it's her casual approach to lust that makes her an absolute knockout. Outs, outs. Why it took Issei so long to respond to her advances, we'll never know. But it's fair to say she's left many a fan breathless during her tenure. Seriously, how could he think of choosing any other girl over Rias?